Web3 is all about collaborations over competition. <laughs> Anish, I'm always a 10 year guy. I'm always a 10 year guy. I don't look for profits, anything, at least for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Cool, thank you. Uh, Digital Protect.eth. Hey Alicia, hey everyone, XYZ and everyone, huge shout out for everything which you guys are doing. Uh, it has been since April 2021 when I booked my domain and ENS domain digitalpratik.eth has been my first ever NFT. Uh, so I'm really proud about uh, starting my NFT journey inside that and then followed by collecting over 380 plus NFTs. So my question right now is uh, since uh, the time when I purchased my first ever uh, ENS or NFT which was digitalpratik.eth uh, I have been trying to study all these things because I'm myself into personal branding space of web2 world so I constantly uh, look out for more branding and marketing perspectives. Uh, that's where I interviewed Brantley as well in the month of May or so, which was then on YouTube as well. And since that day, Brantley.eth has been probably the only thing which I have been always reverse engineering. Uh, and then next is Alicia.eth, uh, which I came across on Twitter a couple of uh, weeks ago maybe, uh, where I saw that uh, Alicia.eth's domain, ENS domain manager, had that profile pic. And since that day, before even uh, that uh, blog was written from uh, ENS domain on how to change your uh, profile pic for ENS, uh, I was able to do that for cool cats. I just had my cool cat. But yesterday, I changed it to my DP, my actual NFT, which is uh, just on Rarible. And I just put out an NFT, not for sale, but just to set up as my uh, profile pic for ENS. So now my question is, while I was doing everything, and reverse engineering, I'm seeing that in Brantley.eth's uh, domain manager, there are two to three additional fields which I'm not able to see in my digital Pratik.eth, which is number one, location, and number two, dot com LinkedIn. So I'm not able to figure out how do I add my LinkedIn name over there or username over there, just like we can add Discord, GitHub, Reddit, Telegram, and eth.ens.delegate. Those are uh, the by default fields. So if somebody can help me out with respect to uh, the location and uh, the LinkedIn link or maybe how do I add the customized link because when I'm clicking on the add records as well, uh, I'm able to see three different options like address, content, text and in text there is only key. I'm not able to see additional thing for LinkedIn. So if somebody can throw the, some light, that's my question. Sure, Hi, um, nice to meet you. It's awesome that, um ENS domain was your first NFT. It's uh, great to hear that, like, we're possibly one of the NFTs to kind of start your journey. But um, to your question, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, a little bit of our fault on our UI. It's, uh, it's a bit of an old UI, but yeah, basically what you're talking about is custom text records. Uh, we have a bunch of defaults that come up, so it's hard to see. But if you go to I think add record and then text, and then you'll see the keys at the bottom. It will say like create new key or something like, something similar to that effect. If you click on that, it will allow you to enter um, your own key. Um, so you can basically have a custom text record and that's what Brant is using. Uh, so yeah, that, that's exactly what I try to do. But when I'm clicking on the, so there are three fields only when I'm trying to add a custom record, which is text address content and in text, yeah, I'm yeah, getting so this get key. Yeah. yeah. So in the key, I'm not able to see any uh, thing which I can create as a key. It just says, please select a key. If you scroll down to the bottom, I think there might be uh, another field that says like... No, the bottomest, like the bottomest option is URL. Okay, um, maybe you can go to our support on the Discord and we can yeah, yeah. help you out there. Like, I can't remember the exact field right now. But awesome. Yeah, it, there is possible to create a customer record. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And kudos to everything you are going to do. And I'm just looking forward to 2031 bare minimum of how this uh, ENS and everything which is collaborating with ENS is going to be evolving in Web3 world. Looking forward. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. 2031? Wow. We should make some ridiculous predictions. I don't even think I could keep up with like, the predictions that we... <laughs> Alicia, I'm always a 10-year guy. I'm always a 10-year guy. I don't look for profits, anything, at least for 10 years. <laughs> That's, I feel like a long-term mindset, if you are very comfortable with like a long-term time horizon, then you will do very well in Web3 in this space. I feel like before I was exposed to the Ethereum community, I kind of thought about time in terms of my lifetime. And now I try to think about things, like I really try to zoom out and think about things in like decades, but potentially like centuries. I wonder... Um, the moment. And, and ENS looks like... 
All right, guys, so I'm still on that space. And uh, during that space, as you just saw that I was trying to figure out that one thing, I'll just keep this a uh, 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 little far because I cannot just volume zero on Twitter space as long as I'm in the space. So uh, what happened was I was not able to figure that out. And now uh, when I go to uh, ENS domains, there is just this custom key field. So as soon as I click on add record and I just have this add record button, I select text and I click on key and I'm having this drop down. The problem was I was not uh, I was not seeing that cursor blinking as well. So what you can do is you can literally write something, all right? And when I wrote that, and that's where I figured out, okay, fine, I just have to write com dot and then LinkedIn. And similarly, I just have to then paste it over here as my username. Now I'm still not sure whether that would work or not because uh, if I just close this, I've already deployed that. Uh, on my ENS, it's right over there in my ENS manager, but it's still not live on my digital pratik.eth.xyz. It might just take a little bit more time, that is what I'm thinking right now, and because of which I'm just uh, gonna tweet this as well, which is shout out to Jeff, uh, Alicia, XYZ, ENS uh, domains, and uh, shout out to just one J Ray as well. I'm just uh, putting up that tweet, and here you go. I just tweeted that uh, because. Uh, Web3 is all about collaborations, guys. Web3 is all about collaborations over competition. Hope this episode was able to bring value to you. If you did, then please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Do let me know what your question is around ENS. Do you have your ENS? Drop your ENS domains in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, take care, boys. And as always, keep smiling.